Yo, 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 what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's DJFX or Nick here, whatever the fuck you want to call me, and today I am bringing you the new update for Black Ops 3, it came out I think December 14th, which was about a day or two ago, um, and it is huge, and there is so much stuff that it came out in this update, and kind of an early Christmas present as well, Black Ops 3, really surprised with this one, because I didn't even hear about it, let's get right into it, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. The very first thing and the biggest thing is the new black market. The black market just got the ability now to where you can burn your duplicate items you get in the black market. Um, some people were getting the same stuff over and over and it was just a waste of crypto keys. So Black Ops 3 did a great job with the ability now to burn your duplicate items and gain your crypto keys back. Now with all these new items in the black market. We have a total of 3 new me melee weapons, 12 new jesters and taunts, and 18 new specialist themes and more. I saw a few previews of them and man, they look amazing. I'm about to show you guys some more, um, I'm going to show you guys in another video of all the, you know, breakdown of everything and let me tell you guys, y'all will like it. And with all this new stuff inflated into the black market, everyone's going to want to gain crypto keys faster, and that's exactly what Black Ops 3 did. They put the ability now to where your crypto keys gain faster, which is a really cool deal. Now the next thing is, and now it will take longer to earn specialist streaks in objective modes, which I kind of like because I'm tired of people coming there and just destroying me with those two little gravity spikes every time I try to capture the fucking flag. I'm tired of that shit. So I'm glad for this one because I can really see where this works. Now as well as the scythe took a huge nerf to it, as well you it will take longer to gain in any game mode as well. Now that's a really good idea because the scythe has seems like it been really 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 overpowered within all of the game modes I've been playing. So I'm kind of glad the scythe got taken out, especially in like Nuketown, if you go in one of the head glitches, you could just sit there with the scythe and just destroy everyone as well. It has a shortened time. So it's going to take, take longer to get, it's not going to be as powerful, and it, you won't have it for as long. So I'm really glad because I'm tired of that scythe. Now this next little update really, really kind of confused me because I already personally thought you could do this, but obviously you could because Black Ops 3 said they just put this in the feature. And that is now you can join people's matches for verbally your friends now you can go in and join their match they're already playing and it will automatically part you up um, I didn't think this was new I thought you could already do this so I don't know exactly what they meant about this but it was in the notes the patch notes so I don't know maybe something I'm not seeing um, and this is just gonna make it better uh, that's what I could see is it probably makes it better than what it already could do now here is the next biggest thing in Black Ops 3, which just outdid all of the other Call of Duties. You will be able to now upgrade 1,000 levels. Yeah, that's right. One prestige, 1,000 levels. Upgrading, or well, promoting yourself 1,000 times. How the fuck? I don't, I don't know, I mean, besides if you hacked or not, I don't think I see anyone anytime soon getting to that. But now, after you hit Prestige Master, you can either choose emblems from World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, and use those Prestige emblems from those games as, you know, your emblem. As well, once you hit that Prestige Master, it will go from, it will just keep counting. You'll start at 55 and go all the way up to 1,000. So... You shouldn't get tired of this game at all, and that's gonna be really cr fucking crazy when you get in lobbies and you just see 1,000 prestige master. Like, imagine seeing four fucking digits, like we're just seeing two. One big ass number by someone's name that they're a level 1,000. Just saying, I think they should have did over 9,000 just for all the little, you know, little fan geeks right there. <clears throat> Now as well, they had a lot of gun changes in this game, uh, score streak changes, and um, especially score streaks. Score streaks are more powerful than they ever were and harder to destroy. 
I'm not gonna really get into all the gun settings because there's a lot of them. I really would like to test out, figure out a way to test them all out to show you guys. Uh, then me just bragging about, hey, this gun shoots faster than a really a comparison of the old update. So I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do for that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, now we have new black market stuff. You can promote to level 1000 and a couple other little cool little updates that might, um, you know, help you guys out. And that's pretty much it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is DJFX out. Peace.